Pearl Harbor, September 24th, 1941. Dearest mother, finally got here and it's really warm. Had a good cruise, but it's too slow. Hope everyone at home is all right. Really had a good time at home, mom. Everyone treated me swell. Why? I don't know. Especially you. You're wonderful to me, mom. Take care of yourself, mom. Say hello to all the little guys for me. Loads of love, mother. Rudy. The young man that wrote this letter was Rudolph Machado Martinez, known to his friends and family as Rudy. He was a young Mexican-American from San Diego, California. His family was of humble means. He was raised by his mother, who made money by running a small Mexican restaurant. He was surrounded by sisters and family. He enlisted in the Navy in 1939 and was assigned the USS Utah, which was ported in San Diego and was soon to leave for Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. On the morning of December 7th, it was peaceful and quiet. Morning colors were getting ready to be raised. The bands were ready to play the Star Spangled Banner. Boats were coming alongside to take men to church services. It was a typical Sunday in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. But that was suddenly shattered when planes came racing across this water behind us at an altitude of about 30 feet. They were Japanese torpedo planes. They began to drop their torpedoes and two of them raced towards the USS Utah. Both of them hit. The ship was now in danger. Listing badly, men scrambled to try to save the ship, and then a bandit ship was called. Rudy Martinez was apparently below decks with other men, and when the ship rolled over, it took 58 men with them, and one of them was Rudy. Mrs. Amelia Perez, the Navy Department deeply regrets to inform you that your son, Rudolph Machado Martinez, electrician's mate, third class U.S. Navy, was lost in action in the performance of his duty and in the service of his country. We're at that site where the memorial is placed and the sunken remains of the ship is still here. And Rudy is still here. He left behind his sisters, one brother, and his mother. It was decided by the family that some mementos of Rudy's would be given to us. Among them was his Purple Heart, a telegram that announced his death, a pillowcase that was going to go to his sister. These personal family mementos started to build a story of who Rudy was and that short life, what he gave to his family in the way of love and remembrance. Those items are now part of our permanent collection. The vision of this memorial was that of Senator Frank Moss from Utah. On December 7th, 1971, Senator Moss came here for the groundbreaking. He spoke these words. While we honor those who gave their last full measure of devotion, all of us hope and pray that the time will come when we no longer need to dedicate memorials to men who died in battle, that we will dedicate memorials to those who live in peace, to all nations and all men. Here at this memorial, Rudy is remembered along with other crewmen that lost their lives on December 7, 1941.